So today I'm here to teach you how to add uh, texture to your 3D text. So the other day I made a uh, poll here in this channel asking what is the biggest problem inside of DaVinci Resolve for, for them. And most of them answered that their biggest problem is the Fusion page. So I'm starting a new series about the Fusion page to help you to be better inside of the Fusion page and to dismystify the Fusion page. So let's jump in the computer and see how you can add the texture to your 3D text inside of the Fusion page of DaVinci Resolve. Let's go. So here we are inside of DaVinci Resolve edit page and this is what I'm going to explain you how to do. You, you will see the difference between a regular 3D text without uh, some texture and the same 3D text with texture. So let's play it. So this is a simple 3D text without texture, just color. And now it's the same, but with texture in here. So how can we create the, this 3D text? It's very easy. Come here to your media pool, right click and Come here, new fusion composition, give it a name, I'm gonna give it 3D, for example. You can change here the duration, I'm gonna leave it at 5 seconds, it's the default. So let's create it. Now come here and double click it and it will open inside of fusion. So this is the fusion page. If you don't know how to work inside of the fusion page, you can watch some videos that I already created explaining how the fusion page work and how the nodes work. You can watch over here on the top uh, the link and I will leave it also in the description so you can watch them and learn how to work inside of the Fusion page. So this is the media out, this is the node that will send everything that we create back to our media pool. So let's start by creating our text. To do that, just unselect this by clicking somewhere over here in this area and press shift space and immediately you will see this window appear and let's type text and we have here text 3D. It's this one. Remember 3D. Now select and add. Every time we work with any 3D object we can't connect it directly to our media out because the media out don't understand 3D space. So for that, we have to render this. And for do that, we have this here. This icon here is the render 3D. You wanna leave, put it over here. And now if you connect it, and if you connect here, this, you don't see anything because we don't have any text over here. So I'm gonna come here. I will press one to see the 3D text in this window, or you can press one, or you can drag it like this. So you have multiple ways. Now let's come here to the inspector. If you don't see the inspector, it's like this, you can click it inspector. And if you don't see two windows, it's very easy. It's also this here, look, one window and press two windows. Now that we are here, let's go to the, to the text here and type 3D text. And now we can change the font, we can change the style, the size, the color, everything in here. So as you can see, you don't see any 3D space over here because this now it's just one plane and it's a simple uh, straight plane. You have to extrude this text, so you have to give it uh, depth. For doing that, you come here where it says extrusion, select it and we can look extrusion depth you can increase and you will see here this the text changing now let's go to here to the render and the first thing is here in lightning enable lightning and shadows now you see everything in black because we don't have any lights so let's add a light here let me push put this over here and now I'm gonna look for a directional light Let's do the same, click here, shift space, and let's type directional and you here, directional light 3DL. So let's add this, and here we have our directional light. Now let's connect our directional light, click
click over here in the square and drag it over to this square and immediately it creates this merge 3D where you will merge the 3D text and the directional light. Immediately you will see here that you have some shadows over here. So and in here you can see that our light is in here. So you can move the light like this or if you select come here to the transform and you can move it like this. Now let's learn how to move here in this window that is the 3D space window. So if you want to move it from left to right up down you can click it and do this. If you want to rotate it you press Alt or Option and you can look rotate in space like this. While the Alt or Option press you move the mouse with the center button the wheel button and it rotates. And if you want to zoom in and zoom out you press Ctrl or Option and with the same wheel the center wheel mouse you can rotate it and zoom in and zoom out. So now let's move our um, directional light is this one and let's put it over here, let's put it somewhere around here and let's rotate. To rotate it you come here to the transform in the inspector, come here to the rotation and in the X you can rotate it like this. So look and of course you can change the color of the light so if you want to a yellow light or give it some kind of uh, color you can do it but I'm gonna leave it at white. Now that we have our directional light let's add a camera because with the camera you can watch around the, the 3D space. So let's come here as you can see it has this symbol it's camera 3D and you can put it over here and very easy just here, go here to the square, the, the gray square and drag it over to the, tech, the Merge 3D and immediately you will have it over here. As you can see this disappear because now the camera is the, the, is the camera that is feeding here the render and you don't see because as you can see the camera is here so let's put the camera back a little bit now with the camera select you can come here and adjust the camera parameters so I'm going to change here to 24 millimeters to a lens of 24 millimeters and you can come here to the transform and you can even adjust it here look like this and now I'm going to the, e, the Y I'm going to put it like this and I'm going to come here to the rotation and I'm going to rotate it like this. So now we have a simple 3D text that, that is not that uh, interesting. So now let's add the texture. So let me grab this and move it over here. Now select here the text 3D and do the same shift space. And come here you type replace and you have here replace material 3D. Select it and add and now you just have to select your texture, the image that will give the texture to your 3D uh, letters. To do that it's just, just a simple bitmap or a simple JPEG or simple PNG. If you don't have any image with texture it's easy you go to pexels.com or to pixabay.com and look for textures and you will have a lot of options. All of this were downloaded from Pexels. So let's select one for example this brick over here, let's put it here, let's connect here the gray output to here and immediately you see this 3D text over here that is built like bricks and you can adjust now the light and everything to in give it more pop and you can even give another a spotlight to one part of your text everything. Now let's add some movement to the text with some keyframes. So let's go to the text 3D selected. Here, here in the beginning we're gonna come here to the size, give it a, a keyframe, come here somewhere around 30 and give it another keyframe, go to the end, give it another keyframe and let's come here to over here, somewhere around here and another keyframe. 
So let's go to the last one. If you press these arrows, it will jump between keyframes. And in here, I'm going to put it zero. Now here, here, and go to the first one and also put it zero. Now it's done. If you come here to the edit page, now you can grab your fusion composition, put it on the timeline. I'm going to increase this. And now if you play it, here we have our 3D text animated and with texture head. So as you could see, it's not that difficult and the final result is very good and gives a different uh, aspect to your 3D text. So I hope this information was helpful and I hope you learned something today. And if yes, don't forget, hit that like button that helps a lot, subscribe if you're not subscribed yet and hit that notification bell to be notified next time I'll launch a video. Until then, bye.